In the dressing room at the War Memorial, Dan Duva alongside Crunch defenseman Mark Barbario. Mark, good to see you. Big win for the Crunch last night. one to nothing. the final score over the Penguins. And we haven't seen any one nothing games decided in regulation. What was the feel of the game last night? And good to know the team can win that sort of game. Yeah, uh, doesn't happen too often, uh, those one nothing games. But, um, you know, it was great for the guys to, to pull that out. Uh, you know, we played really solid defensive hockey. Uh, we didn't give him too much. Uh, most of their shots were from the outside and said he was able to uh, take care of any of their uh, better scoring chances. And, um, you know, it is it kind of gives the guys a bit of a confidence boost knowing that, you know, you only score one goal and you're able to win a game. Um, you know, that, that's what it's going to take, good defensive hockey, especially going down the stretch when uh, teams are gearing up for playoffs. And you had a lot of energy and production as well from the fourth line. Philip Michael DeVos has the goal, his fifth of the year, and now has four points in his last few games. But it was set up by Terramina, the defenseman, on the breakout to Gautier. And Eric Nielsen was out there too. And Eric's had a plus in the last couple of games. That you know, have that fourth line producing, that's a big deal. Yeah, for sure. We want, um, you know, that's what we want. We want all four lines and uh, all six or seven D uh, contributing when, uh, when they're out there. Uh, we got a lot of guys called up to Tampa Bay right now. And uh, so it gives opportunities for, uh, for other guys to step up. And uh, like you mentioned, a guy like Eric, who's um, you know, known for his uh, tough physical presence, but uh, he's been playing really well for us lately and uh, you know, keeping things real simple, getting pucks out and getting pucks deep and getting hard on the forecheck. So uh, you know, it's great to see guys like that contributing. And he also had a pretty good fight against Pierre-Luc Letourneau LeBlanc on Friday. Well, you played against a guy yesterday in Trevor Smith, uh, who was teammate last year, and now you'll play another teammate uh, that'll be Dustin Tokarski on Friday, somebody that you were teammates with earlier this year. How does it feel to go against these former teammates? Well, you know, the way it is, it's, you know, obviously your buddies when, uh, you know, you've played with the guy and you've gone to war with the guy. But, um, you know, once you get on that ice, uh, you can't, you know, you, you got to leave the past behind you and you got to try and win the game no matter who you're playing. And uh, I think it's a respect factor for the game of hockey that no matter who you're playing, you're going to give it your all. And, you know, you're going to play clean and hard, but, um, you know, then after the game, you, you can be buddies again. But for that 60 minutes, it's uh, your enemies. That's, uh, that's how I look at it. And you also have these home games right now. Five-game homestand for the Crunch. You've won the last one. You've got a couple more Friday and Saturday. So when you've got this amount of home games, 11 of the last 16 at home, how important is that to get ready for the playoffs? Well, it's great, you know, to be home, you're sleeping in your own bed and uh, you can get into some good routines. And uh, we've had a couple days uh, off in between games. So guys have been able to get in the gym and stay strong and uh, be, uh, you know, be good on the ice. So it's just great, uh, you know, especially being at home, you get great uh, fan support. Fans have been coming out and uh, cheering us on. So it's been uh, it's been great being at home. So you've got Hamilton on Friday, as we mentioned, Dustin Tokarski returns, and then Albany on Saturday. Haven't seen Hamilton in a long time, but you've got three wins against them this year. As you get ready for the Bulldogs, do you go through much and see what the games have been like earlier this season or what they've done recently? Well, it's been a while since we played them last. Um, you know, we're going to have to go through uh, video and footage from uh, from more, their more recent play. I know they've been playing well of late, especially since Dustin's gone there. He's uh, he's been doing a great job. So, and we know he's a great goaltender. So we're going to have to we're going to have our work cut out for us tomorrow night. And then the Devils on Saturday. That's the team that you just defeated six to two. Had six goals before they even had one. Try to do more of the same on Saturday. I mean, more of the same would be great. I don't know if it's going to be the uh, same kind of scoreline. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be uh, wanting a bit of revenge uh, after the way we, you know, we beat them last game. But, um, you know, we just got to take it one game at a time. We got Hamilton tomorrow night, and uh, we just got to make sure we're geared up for that. So this team right now, even with the guys called up, entering the final dozen or so games of this regular season, trying to stay in first place. You guys happy with where the team is right now to hold on to that number one spot? I mean, yeah, you, you got to be happy with first place, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, we want to keep going forward. There's teams behind us that are pushing. We got Providence on our heels and uh, Binghamton still coming. So we got to make sure uh, we keep winning these games uh, heading into the playoffs so we can secure home ice. And at the same time, happy to see some of your former Crunch teammates in the NHL right now. Yeah, for sure. It's great. Uh, you know, we saw Radko Gudis get his first NHL goal yesterday and uh, assisted by PC Labrie and uh, Conacher got a goal and Johnson got an assist. Uh, it's great to see our guys going up there and doing a uh, doing a great job. But I think it gives the guys here a bit of confidence knowing that uh, you know guys that we play with are, are doing the job in the NHL. So it's uh, it's great to see. Six Crunch players have made their NHL debut this season. That's more than any other team in the league. Mark Barbario, hopefully your time is soon. We wish you well the rest of the way and thanks for your time. Thank you, Dan. With Mark Barbario, I'm Dan Duva.